Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we are back in with our land ship. Now, as you guys can see, we now have bigger windows up there, we actually have some stairs, and we also have a door on the front that also functions as a ramp to be able to get inside. Honestly, this thing is looking pretty cool so far. We have the side guns as well, uh, but today what I want to do is add a little bit of extra detail around the outside. I also want to start building the engines as well, and a little bit of an engine room too, because we kind of need to. So, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Alright, so, I guess first things first, let's go ahead and start building the engine room in a little bit. So let's go ahead and get this piece and extend it pretty much all the way to the rear. I don't want it to go all the way, all the way to the rear, but like very, very close. From there, we're actually going to go ahead and just do the side pieces. We're going to build those up like so. Go ahead and build this little bit up as well. And I guess we'll also actually like seal this bit off a little bit too. Because uh, that's kind of cool. We're then actually going to go ahead and send this over the top of this. And we'll build a little bit of a piece into there as well. Because uh, I think this will look pretty awesome. So, uh, there will be a door on the back, I do believe, to be able to get into the engine if we need to fix it. Uh, but for now, we're going to go ahead and just box it off. And that is A-OK. -okay. Good. All right, I'm actually happy with that. Go ahead and seal that right there as well, and we can go from there. Okay, so the engine itself, where do we actually want it to go to? I actually don't really know. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this really quickly, and that seems like it'll be big enough for maybe two big-ish engines on both sides. And I actually don't mind the idea of sending this out uh, kind of like this. So let's say we attach this guy to here, and we send it backwards like so. I don't mind it being like that, to be honest. So let's go ahead and send this up to here. Attach these guys together. And yeah, this will be like, um, this will be cool. This will be fine. So we're going to build these in, hoping that all of it actually looks okay in the end. I'm sure it will. Um, and yeah, just keep building them in, just like so. All right, slowly but surely it is working. All right, there we go. And this bit too. Okay, fantastic. So now that we've got this on the outside, what does that look like? Like a little box on the rear. Good. Okay, so from there, we're actually going to go ahead and go up one more. It is going to be using these guys as well. There we go. Awesome. And we're just going to go ahead and fix all of this together just like so. Okay, good. I'm then going to go ahead and do the, the back end. Just fill that in. And um, I'm also actually going to start deleting... I don't know how big these are, but I think they're 5 by 5 So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this piece. And then we'll actually get ourselves a radiator. And we're going to shove that on there. 5 by 5 electric radiator. Shove it on. There we go. Awesome. We're going to go across about three, delete these guys, and do the same thing, and then do it again. One, two, three, and bam. There we go. That actually looks interesting. It doesn't look quite how I wanted it to look, um, but it's kind of cool anyway, so we might keep those. I'm also actually going to add the mini radiators in between, because that's kind of cool, and honestly, it looks kind of awesome as well. So there you go. Then going to do this and this, and I kind of want to change these pieces to like essentially like grab the radiators if that makes sense so do that bit right there and this bit right here and honestly i think this is going to look good in the end so go ahead and shove that right there send it across there we go do this bit too and i think i'm gonna have to fill in these little pieces here but at the same time they're gonna have to be filled in anyway um and to make it a little bit more airtight but actually they don't need to be airtight so probably it's probably fine actually Anyway, exhaust needs to go on here as well, and I want the exhaust to actually look really cool too, so let's go ahead and get some pipes and start working on that as well. I don't actually know how I want it to look though, but um, essentially we're going to go ahead and do this. What can I send the exhaust through? Like, I, I guess it's literally just these, but it'd be cool to have bigger ones or something. I'm not entirely sure what I want here. Uh, if I type in engine, do I get some extra stuff? I don't think I do. No. Okay, so we're going to have to try and make it look nice. <laughs> we have to try and make it look lovely. I don't know how to do that. Um, so let's just go ahead and get some pipes. And the exhaust is going to come out of these. Um, but maybe we can fiddle it so it actually works a little bit better. So let's go ahead and do this. Da -da 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 -da. Go ahead and have that point upwards. And have the exhaust on top of there. Okay, so do this. Good. All right. So far, so good. We're then going to get some rocket booster thingamabobbies, and we're going to whack those in the center. Not the huge ones, but the medium ones. And we're going to shove them right there like this. So we can, we can kind of make it look like it's sort of coming out of this, I suppose. Uh, even if it isn't. Even if it isn't. Okay. Um, I don't know whether doing this to pipes actually works either. I'm not sure. 
But if I attach this up to there like this, and I just have this pipe doing absolutely nothing, is that okay? I don't know whether that's still okay. Not sure. Um, the other thing as well, I'm actually going to go ahead and box off the front of this, so it doesn't look so weird, and we're going to have to do the same thing at the rear too. Otherwise, it's going to look strange, and that's a problem. Alright, put that there, go ahead and put this on, and there we go. Nice! Alright guys, so I just came up with another idea, maybe like a little one, but uh, it's fine. So we're going to go ahead and put a block right there. I'm then going to go to control surfaces, and I'm going to go ahead and attach it onto the rear. I know that might seem a little bit strange, but it's also going to add a little bit of detail that we otherwise wouldn't really have. So let's go ahead and have a little look and see what that looks like. So far, the actual thing itself actually looks pretty good. That on the back looks like little hatches that you could lift up and shoot out of, so we're going to have it like that. That's cool. Oh, I want to change some other things as well. So clearly this bit right here hasn't been painted, but I feel like it needs to be. So let's go ahead and paint that real quick and do the back end as well. And I don't know whether I do most of the back end here. I'm not sure what I do in this situation, actually. Uh, I'm going to paint this a little bit like so. Uh, like that. There we go. And we're also going to paint this across here too. There we go. Nice. Okay, so I think uh, the only other thing that I really want to do on the rear is actually delete this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy, and essentially just attach these guys on there instead, and just paint the edges of those so it looks a little bit nicer. Realistically, I should probably do it on these pieces too, so I think I will. So delete this, delete this, delete this, delete that, and this bit, and this bit, and there we go. Just do the same thing that we did a second ago, and that'll be fine. Alright, so this is what it looks like from the back now that I've changed it, and honestly, I really like it. I think it's looking pretty good. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to start adding the engine to the inside, and it is going to be a beefy engine. Uh, obviously, it needs to be because it is a huge vehicle, but um, yeah. Luckily, I did actually mount the sprocket at the back as well, so we can actually get to that, which is good. Uh, and yeah, we should be able to build some cool engines into here. So if I type in engine, 5x5 five five crank, there we go, let's go with one of these. Uh, we're gonna have not very much room for them, to be fair, but let's go ahead and see if we can add... I guess the way I'm gonna do this is... Um, I don't know, like the one there, there we go. Then another one next to it, and another one next to that, there we go, just like this. And then we should be able to have like six cylinders each, and obviously they are five by five cylinders, so this should work, I guess. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and attach them... What is happening? What's wrong with this? Why can't I put it there? Oh no! Oh no! Okay, I can't actually have it there then, that's a bit annoying. Okay, move all of this to the side, and then we should be able to just build it in just one. If we go in by one, bam, there we go, we should be good. Okay, so a cylinder there, a cylinder there, and a cylinder here. And I am building them the way that a few of you guys have said to build them. Um, oh no, we can't actually fit them in properly. So what if we have four cylinder engines? Four... Yeah. Is that right? Is that going to work? I don't know if this is going to work. Uh, but if we do have that, and then we have the 5x5 five five belt system, I can actually whack that on there like so. We can put the uh, the things on there, that's okay. Um, and we can actually get to it, so that's good. And then on the other side, we need a clutch, which is like massive as well. Which is a 5x5 five five clutch. So if I put that there, we've actually got room for everything. Um, I just don't know whether this is going to work the way that we currently have it, but we'll try. So grab this, put it on there properly. There we go, I think that's correct, and now we should be good. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this like this, 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 this. I can't even speak right now, but sure, we're gonna delete that like so. We're then gonna go ahead and build this into here like this, and we also have to merge this with this, because otherwise it's not actually correct. Um, I then want to just add this guy into here, and I think I'm just gonna- Whoa, not do that! I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna do this. And this. There we go, okay, cool. So that looks kind of industrial, uh, and kind of cool. So, that's why we've done it, but that is, that is nice. Okay, so I think this cylinder is actually moved over one, and everything else is actually not in the correct position. So that's weird. <laughs> that's very weird, but grab this and this, go ahead and cut it. Move it that way one. Paste it... Oh no, actually, everything, those are in the correct position. These guys, however, were in the wrong position, which of course is wrong. So go ahead and move it over, paste it there, merge this guy and this guy. There we go, and then this actually needs to be moved over as well to there, and there we go. So we got two four-cylinder engines, but their capacity is ginormous, so this should move still pretty quickly, I think. You know what, uh, even though a few of you guys said that I built the engines wrong last time, we are actually going to go ahead and do it this way. 
uh, instead, because uh, then we get more ports to actually use, which is is good. So there you go. We're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to attach them together on the other side, because that's the easiest way to do it. And uh, it should be good from there. So if we angle this one this way, like this, and we go to the other end and we angle this one this way, we should be able to attach all these guys together in the middle. Although actually, we also need one of these, which is a T-junction to go there, and a T-junction to go there, and then a straight pipe all the way through. Okay, I can't seem to actually just drag this. So we're just going to have to mount it and continue it along. That's a little bit annoying, but one, two, three, and four. There we go, good. And then continue it. One, two, three, and four. And there we go. They're all attached together. So any fuel one of these gets, the other guy gets as well. And any air, any of these get the uh, fuel also. Oh, the air goes into all of them as well. So that's good. We now need to figure out where our air supply is going to be and uh, some other stuff too. Alright, so one of the things that I did actually want to get to was actually doing something with this and essentially building it upwards from the back just like so and going to about there, then building this bit down and leaving it right there like that. I think it looks pretty cool, so we're gonna use it. We're gonna use it! Okay, nice. Uh, from there, we're actually gonna go ahead and do this also. And our air supply is gonna go right there. Air. Yes, it's gonna be a filtered one. And that looks pretty good. We're then going to go below this. Delete that guy. There we go. And that is where our air supply is going to go. Also, our coolant can actually run through every single one of these and then go back into the engine. That's kind of a cool idea. So yeah, I'm quickly going to go ahead and run a pipe in between all of these guys. And then once we've done that, everything should be good. Alright, so I've gone ahead and done the top bit, and honestly that looks okay. And now we're going to go ahead and connect the rear bit as well, up to here, from the engine manifold, which is at the front. Uh, we also need an actual pump in this as well, which is ran off these guys, so uh, we should be able to do that as well, hopefully. Unless I just put a normal pump into it, which actually will also work, so I think I'm going to do that instead. So, let's go ahead and do that first, I guess? Pump. Alright, here we go. Da -da 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 -da. We're going to use one of these guys, and I'm actually going to try and shove it. Oh, I don't know where. <laughs> I don't know where. Where the sun don't shine. That's where. No, actually, no. We're going to go ahead and put it in uh, here. And I guess it doesn't actually matter which way around it goes, as long as it pumps. So if we leave it there like that and it pumps, that is actually fine. Okay, let's go ahead and put a pipe on this. Oh, I can't. I can't actually get a pipe to it because of where it is. Uh, so let's go ahead and do it up here instead. It's a nicer bit for it, I suppose. And, uh, yeah, we'll make it work. So, let's go ahead and flip this around. Uh, so it points this way, then have it point this way, have this guy go into there like this, and attach those guys together with a pipe. There we go, good. We're then gonna go ahead and do this, uh, this way, and then have it go, uh, I guess that way, there we go, good. And then have this bit go upwards too. Yes! Okay! So far, so good, guys. So far, so good. We're then going to get another one of these guys, send it that way. Nope, not that way. This way, and send it together like so. So our coolant system is now in. Good. Alright, so what else do we actually need to add to this thing then? I think I might actually add, like, two fuel systems, and also two exhaust uh, pipes and stuff like that. Uh, as well as air intakes as well, because honestly, I think that might help us out. Uh, possibly. Anyway, uh, we need a starter. That is one of the most important things of this. Engine starter, we're gonna have four of them? Six of them. We're gonna have lots of engine starters. So, starting with this one down here. There's one, two, and uh, three. There we go, good. Wait, hang on, how is the two there? I'm not sure. Anyway, go ahead and put this guy right here, and this guy right here, and there we go. Nice, okay, so that is uh, one, two, three, four, five. That's five, and six right there. Alternators, uh, not that I really want them, but we'll go ahead and shove them on anyway. So there's one, two, three, and four. There we go, awesome, and that is good to me. Yes. Okay, anything else that needs adding to this? I guess we need to go ahead and do the exhaust, so that's kind of important. Uh, and that needs to lead up to, I guess, here. Uh, it doesn't necessarily need to go to here, but that's where we're gonna have it go. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and send this one this way. Okay, awesome. We're going to go ahead and send this one this way, and essentially those pipes need to lead up to there. Uh, and I kind of want two, so delete that guy as well. Um, yes. <laughs> okay, so let's send these guys straight upwards first. There we go, awesome. There's one and two. We're then going to bring them both out and make sure they both fit, and that is going to be great. So send this one this way. Send 
This one, also that way, but afterwards. <laughs> but afterwards. So that's going to go there. There's a lot of pipes involved in this, and it's kind of crazy, but sure. So do that. There we go. Go ahead and angle this one this way, and then straight upwards, and that's going to be fine. And then do this guy as well. Straight upwards as well. And there we go. All right, lovely. This is actually working out fine. Uh, pipes, straight and closed. Go ahead and put that there, and there, and there we go. So currently, the exhaust is going to go straight out of there, and also straight out of here, and that's going to be fine. Maybe. Also, paint these. There we go. Painted. Lovely. Okay, so that is the, uh, the exhaust done. Now we need our air supply to be done as well, so let's go ahead and figure out where our air is going to come from. Probably actually somewhere up here. We'll do one and two, and... Yeah, we'll have them both go to... Oh, no. Each of those places are actually really hard to get to. Okay, there and there. Okay, so our air supply is going to go up to each of those. Which, again, involves adding lots and lots of pipes. <laughs> but that's okay. So, engine, yes. Air supply, we're going to go ahead and have uh, this guy go here. And this guy go here. I've never really built one with two of these before, but that's fine. And then we also need our fuel supply as well. So, let's go ahead and put that on two. Because we should. So there's our air one. Yes. And then our fuel one is here. Okay, we're going to go ahead and shove that there and there. Don't know where our fuel tank is going to go just yet, but we will need one. Okay, so our air supply has to reach up to these guys. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a fluid port or something like that in order for this to work. Although, actually, I put the air supply there earlier, didn't I? I did. I did indeed. So, actually, if we delete this and this, and we grab this guy and delete these two right here, we should be able to... Go to the underside of this, delete these guys, those are our fuel ones. Uh, put this into here like this, and right here, and essentially just send it straight up into that. Uh, which, I don't know, might work, it might not work. So send it up to there. It's going to have to come around this, but that's okay, so there and there. And that's not quite right, actually. We need one more, and then up. Yes, okay, good. So I'm going to shove that in there like that. We then need an actual pipe on that as well, so a straight pipe. And in this color, and whack that in there as well. Okay, cool. So there's uh, one air inlet. I want another one. Um, just to be greedy. <laughs> just to be greedy, I want another air inlet. So let's do pretty much the exact same thing. Send it upwards to there. Delete this guy. Send it across, uh, just like so. Do this guy. Send it upwards. And delete this guy. Attach this to right here. Grab this one. Put it right there. And put an air inlet just in front of it. Actually, so this guy's gonna go here. We're gonna attach that to there and there we go air is done exhaust is done coolant is done um, The only thing remaining is fuel I think all right So since we have armor on the outside already anyway Let's go ahead and just build some fuel tanks into the interior because that seems to be where it should go So let's just go ahead and build in something quite long. There we go. Go ahead and build it in so it's quite high and It's actually gonna be relatively big. There we go. We're then gonna start adding these guys to make it look cool because uh, obviously you need your fuel tank to look cool. Otherwise, what's the point, you know? What's the point in a fuel tank if it doesn't look cool? All right, there we go. Two huge fuel tanks, which take up a lot of space. But um, we should be able to actually... Uh, I like the idea of carting fuel across so it's only one fuel tank. But never mind. Uh, we'll build some something in there so we can swap it over. But that's okay. So I guess we can actually refuel whatever vehicle actually we end up bringing in here. So I think that's fine for now. Sure. Okay, right, so fuel, I guess, uh, has to just go from here. Actually, can we do the other side? We can't get to it. Uh, so it has to go from here into there. That's really annoying the way I've built this, but sure. So, fuel. Uh, we need to build this in. I'm going to go ahead and build some pipes, and then I'll be back with you guys in a second. Okay, so I build it in so that it actually comes through this wall in order to work. I don't think I actually need uh, the two. I, I, I don't think I need the two. I don't know what I'm actually explaining here. Uh, I don't think I need the two actual, like, outlets or inlets or whatever. Um, I think it would be fine with just one for the fuel, but I'm not entirely sure. So, we're just gonna make sure it has enough fuel by doing two anyway, and, uh, if it doesn't need it, then it doesn't need it, but if it does, then it has it. So, I think that's fine. Anyway, let's go ahead and put this in here. One and two, there we go. That looks a little bit strange, but sure. And we'll fill that in right there, like that. And then we should be able to just get away with piping this together. And that essentially be it. So, attach this to here like so, send it upwards. Attach this to here like so as well, and send it upwards. And then, I guess, just angle it inwards, and that's all we need. Okay, bam and bam. 
There we go. So we got fuel, we got air, we've got exhaust, we have coolant. Uh, that is all the things that we need. So let's go ahead and make this into an actual fuel tank by adding fuel. And we'll go from there. Fluid. Yes. We need a spawner and a meter. Uh, and we can, we can make this work. So this guy is going to go here like this. And the spawner is going to go in there too. If I can find it. Where is it? Do, 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 spawner, yes. Go ahead and put that right there. We now need to go to one of my previous builds and find the microcontroller to make these work. And then that'll be awesome. Okay, microcontroller has been got. There we go. It is right here. It is uh, going to be fine, I think. If we just go ahead and place it uh, even inside of here is, is a okay. So that's inside of the fuel tank. Bam and bam. Make sure we can merge it together and merge this one. And then just attach it all together and we'll be fine. Okay, I've attached them to the microcontroller. Let's go ahead and see if they actually work. I do have to go into the inside via this by doing that and then run to the back. Go ahead and do this. Oh, I don't have a starter. Like, I don't actually have the button to make this work. Uh, button, yes. I guess we could use a key, but never mind. Go ahead and put that right there. Is that a toggle? It is. Good. Attach this to here and here and go. All right, this time we have it. It should to totally work. So go to the inside. Go ahead and push this. Yeah, I mean, they're working. That is actually fantastic. Good. We've built engines that work, guys. That is amazing. Let's go ahead and sit in a seat, see if we can see what it looks like. Pretty cool. That actually looks really cool. Okay, so I think I'm actually going to go ahead and end this video here for right now. Uh, in the next one, we'll obviously make this thing move, which will be pretty awesome. Uh, and I do actually want to make the interior look a little bit nicer, too. Uh, I also want to make sure we can actually refuel these tanks and also refuel vehicles on the inside of here as well. So we'll do that next time as well. I also need to add lights in here as well and maybe block some stuff up. Um, just to make it a little bit more watertight, even though I don't think it's going to float in the end. We'll see. Anyway, for now, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.